Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Today I will show you how to get rid of unwanted facial hair instantly and permanently using just a couple of ingredients that are available in your kitchen. To prep this, you will need a teaspoonful of unflavored gelatin which is easily available in any of the grocery stores. Gelatin has proteins and amino acids which help reduce the appearance of wrinkles, sun damage and stretch marks, giving your face a very youthful look and it also brightens up your skin. To this, I will add two teaspoons full of raw milk. Raw milk is milk which you have not boiled, but instead I will heat the milk. Raw milk acts as a cleanser, a toner and a moisturizer on your skin and it has some amazing nutrients to keep your skin looking younger and kind of conceal the fine lines and wrinkles and reduce the appearance of suntan and sun damage. Now if you boil the milk it loses most of these nutrients so you use it raw but if you use cold milk it's not going to mix well with the gelatin so you have to heat it just enough that it mixes with the gelatin but not boil it. So Make it hot, but don't boil it. To this mixture, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon honey. Honey helps to detox your skin and remove all the impurities. To this, I will add a pinch of turmeric. Turmeric is one of the main ingredients to get rid of facial hair or any unwanted body hair permanently. I'm going to mix all the four ingredients together till I get a very paste-like consistency. To apply this, I recommend using a flat, soft brush like this one. Before you apply this mask, make sure you've pinned back all your hair. Use the hair band if you can. Also make sure you've washed and cleaned your face. Just before I use the mask, I will use a warm towel on my face to open up all the pores. That way it's easier for the mask to pull out all the unwanted hair, the whiteheads, the blackheads and any dirt that's settled in the pores. Do a patch test on your wrist before applying it on your face just to make sure that the mask is not too hot. Now you need to start working really quickly with this paste otherwise it'll start hardening up. And if it does harden up and it's kind of difficult to apply the paste, just toss it in the microwave for about 5 seconds and it should get back to its pasty form again. The area around your eyes is extremely sensitive so make sure you don't go anywhere very close to your eyes. I'm going to leave it on my face for about 30 minutes. That's how much it's going to take to dry up. You can tell if it still feels a little moist or wet. It's still not dry. Leave it for another 5 minutes. You can easily tell when it dries up. Your face feels like plastic, like as though you have a shrink wrap going around your face. To pull this mask out, I'm going to first pull my skin out really tight under my jawline. That way it opens up the ends of the mask and it's very easy to pull out the mask from there. And always make sure you're pulling the mask upwards because that's the opposite direction of your hair growth and that's when the hair comes off. I'll be honest with you guys, this part can be a bit painful. Almost imagine it as using a wax on your face to pull out all the hair. So obviously it's going to be painful. So please go carefully on this. Be slow and be patient and try to stretch your skin as much as possible in the opposite direction. Pulling out the mask becomes so much more easier. One thing I wanted to tell you about the mask is the gelatin does not smell very good and if you're sensitive to smell, you can always add a drop of lemon or tea tree oil or lavender oil when you're mixing everything together just so it doesn't smell that bad. Thinking about what's mine, nothing to deny Who's that other guy? Are you wasting my time? All these crazy feet. Although I have a light peach fuzz on my face, I don't have much hair on my face. I do have some hair on my sideburns and I do have whiteheads which the mask has clearly pulled out. I'm not sure how much the camera can capture. My skin feels super soft and refreshed and you can see benefits even with just one use. I'm going to next rinse my face with some lukewarm water and immediately massage my face with some ice cubes just to stop it from having any redness.
and then I'm going to immediately use some moisturizer. You can use any of your favorite moisturizers or cream that you regularly use. By using this mask once or twice a week, you can reduce or completely get rid of unwanted facial hair. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share my video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. I will see you on Thursday with a brand new one. Bye guys! Would you pour some wine for me? Smile for me and